In this video, I'm going to share one of the easiest tricks to upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 on unsupported hardware in 2025. If you're still using Windows 10 and you're looking for one of the easiest and the safest way to upgrade to Windows 11, then kindly check this video as you will find this one of the best and the convenient way to upgrade to Windows 11. Now before moving ahead guys, personally, I don't recommend to upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware as it is not recommended from the Microsoft, as you won't be getting the TPM and the secure boot security. But if you're not concerned about it, and if you want to really upgrade to Windows 11, then without any further delay, let's quickly get started. So now, the very first thing that you will have to do, you need to assure that your Windows 10 is up to date to the latest version. And in order to find out that which version exactly you're using, click on your Windows search, type here WINVER, WINVER, and hit the enter key. So on my end, you can see I'm using Windows 10 version 21H2, that is the older version. So it's really recommended that before upgrading to Windows 11, you should update all the pending updates on your Windows 10. So for that, right-click on your Windows icon, click on Settings. In the Settings, scroll down a bit and click on Update and Security. Look on Windows Update, and if there is any kind of update available, go ahead and just update it. As of now, I have a pending update, so I will click on Restart now. And it may take a while to update, so you will have to wait until it's all been done. So you also need to look for the update, and whichever updates are available, go ahead and update them. Alright, so once the update get completed, the computer get restarted. Now, you will have to download the Windows 11 ISO. So open up any of your browser. I'm bringing my Microsoft Edge here. You can bring up any of your favorite browser. And in the search, you have to type Windows 11 ISO download. Click on the first link of Microsoft here, download Windows 11, Microsoft.com. Click on it. And here, scroll down a bit. And at the bottom, you will find Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Click on the drop down, choose Windows 11, Multi Edition ISO. Click on Start. Next, it will ask you select the product language. Now, here you have to be very careful, as you have to choose the same product language that you are currently using on your Windows 10. So, very important step. So, if you're not sure which exactly is the current language of your Windows 10, you can easily find out by clicking on your Windows search, type CMD, click Run as Administrator. Click on Yes. And here you have to type a simple command that will be DISM space slash getintl space slash online. Now, once you hit the Enter key, it will show your system locale and the installed language, that is English, United States. So, once I know my current language, now I can close the command prompt and choose here the same language and click on Confirm. Next, you have to click on 64-bit download, and the downloading of Windows 11 24H2, the latest version, will be started, and it's around 5.4 gigabytes, so you have to wait until it's all been done. Alright, so once the ISO get downloaded, now you have to mount it. So right-click on the ISO, and then you have to click on Mount. Click on Open, and the ISO will be mounted here, and it will assign a new drive letter to your computer. Now you have to note it that which drive exactly it has taken. On my end, it's E drive, and it can be the same on your end, or it can be different. So whatever it is, make a note of it. And the next, you have to bring up the command prompt. So click on your Windows search, type CMD, click Run as Administrator. Click on Yes. The black window will be up. Now here, type the same drive letter which has been assigned to your Windows 11 ISO. So it's E drive, so I will type E then colon, and hit the enter key. Now next, you have to type a command here that you also will be getting in the description, and that will be setup.exe space slash product space server space slash compat space ignore warning space slash migrate drivers space all. So once you type this command, now hit the enter key. And the Windows preparing box will be up, and it says install Windows server. So you don't have to get panic here, because it will not be installing the Windows server, as we are using a trick so it shows as Install Windows Server. Now here, you have to click on Next. And this will be checking for updates, so again, you have to wait until the update check has been completed. Alright, so once it will be done, it says Choose a Licensing Method. You may get a similar screen, or maybe different. Then here, what you can do, at the bottom you will find, I previously installed Windows Server on this PC. Click on it. Then it will ask you that which version exactly you want to install. You want to go with Windows 11 Home, Education, 
or the Pro. So in this video, guys, I will be taking Windows 11 Pro. So you can choose any of the edition that you want to. Once selected, you will have to click on Next. And this will be checking your PC, and it will bypass all kind of requirement, and it will not give you any error while installing the Windows 11. Alright, so bingo, you can see it has been skipped. Click on Accept. Choose either Keep Files, Settings and Apps, or Keep Personal Files only. And then you have to click on Next. Again, it will be getting the update, so you have to wait. Then finally, it will say Ready to Install. Install Windows 11 Pro. Keep Personal Files only. So finally, click on Install. And bingo, so you can see the installation of Windows 11 Pro has been started. Now, it may take a while, so you will have to wait, and make sure that if you are on a laptop, so your laptop is being connected to the charger, and you have the proper supply. Or else, if the process get interrupted in between, then you may not able to use either Windows 10 or Windows 11. Alright, so let's wait until it's all been done. Alright and bingo! Finally, you can see the system has been upgraded. Windows 10 has been upgraded to Windows 11 without any kind of problem. And you can see here on the recommended section, I have the Windows 10, Windows 11 ISO that I have downloaded. So it means that the file also will not be deleted, and it will be quickly upgraded to Windows 11. And I have already tested this on multiple machines, guys. It's working without any kind of problem. So hopefully, you will also be able to upgrade to Windows 11. If yes, let me know in the comment section. And in case also you have any problem while upgrading using this method, then let me know in the comment section. And also make sure, guys, please hit the like, subscribe, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.